Hello. My name is Timothy Trespass. And I am a human soul on a planet with over six billion other human souls, all struggling to survive, all hoping for a moment of happiness and joy, all looking for success and survival in their life, all looking for love. But are we looking for enlightenment? Are we looking to expand our consciousness? Are we looking to understand what the nature of this reality is? Why we are here? Why we are what we are? Physical, biological beings? I don't know. Anyway, I've been very, very sick, as you could probably imagine. Uh, that small piece of material that was left in our house was uh, about one inch and um, I found it under under the on, under the head of my bed under the sheet that I had just put on from the laundry mat and shaken out and all that we had just wiped everything with bleach we'd been sleeping on plastic for two days I had dusted and wiped and you know everything and as I was re-wiping I discovered this so and it was after you know during the, the the time where it was quiet not a lot of jumping biting horrible torment and all of a sudden it, it begins again it builds up and within a couple of days you're completely freaking inundated with this stuff Sorry, it's, it's really cold out here, brutally cold, and I have no gloves. Uh, I left them at home. But, uh, you know, so, I don't know how they came in our house and put it in there, unless they did it when we're asleep. There are times where we are, like, forced into sleeping. I don't understand why it's really, uh, Strange. And these people walk by and they look at me like, uh, like predators or something, you know? Like, is this lamb ready for slaughter? Can I get away with it? You know, maybe it's just my misinterpretation, but I don't think so. Not everyone, just a few of them. You see it in their eyes, that hunger. Kind of frightening. Anyway. So, uh, oh, God, sorry, like I said, I've been really, really sick, um, when I take the, uh, thank you, when I take the, the microscope lenses that I've made, uh, and you look at my skin, it's really amazing, you see millions of tiny white lines, you know, barely visible, but under the mag magnification, they're there. That are all the burrows of these Sarcoptes creatures. They dig under my skin and live under there, drinking my lymphocyte and interstitial fluid, which is you know, the lymphocyte is you know the lymph contains the lymphocytes, which help the white blood cells fight off disease. And deal with toxins and bacteria and whatnot and the interstitial fluid when the plasma is done delivering its usefulness to the body and cells it goes into the endocrine system lymph whatever <laughs> yeah, it becomes lymph uh, this fluid that interstitial fluid becomes part of that it bathes all your cells and helps to wash away and remove all the toxins from your body and your body's biological processes create a great deal of toxins you know the stuff we eat and whatnot is not pure food and there's a lot of stuff that has to come out and if it doesn't come out you know we begin to absorb it 
and the systems that we have to remove it and keep us clean and healthy are broken down and we die faster. Um, every single like pore on my arms and hands, because that's the only place I can really look, has these little bubbles, almost like blisters, microscopic. And inside is a tiny little black creature happily floating in there, sucking my life out of me. And I realize now, only after looking very critically at what I believed was, you know, the matrix of the reality that I thought was my life, have I realized that this has been oh, going on a rather long time, perhaps even from my birth, or perhaps even further uh, to my birth mother. Um, and I've spent so many years sick and depressed and tired and laying in bed moaning and, you know, staring at the idiot box and letting it program me and there's so much of that crap in my head you know I, 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 why is it that people wanted me you know six billion other people in the planet why me why me I don't think of myself as special in any way I'm just another one of God's creatures. I'm just, you know, I'm special in that I am a snowflake and that I am individual, that I have my own facets and, and reflection and absorption, light and dark, good and bad. It's all contained in there, in the who and what I am. And being in a physical body that plays a role in your perception and belief structure and understanding the possibilities, what could be real and what couldn't, what am I capable of and what am I not. And, um, wow, it's amazing how sensitive I've become to other people. Like, not like, well, sensitive, yeah, like somebody walks by and their biofield interacts with my biofield and they get a read or, or a perception from my emotional state and I get one from theirs and you know our, our understanding of this perception and our misunderstanding of this perception you know goes into our behavioral you know, why do we act the way we act? Why do we feel the way we feel around other people? Well, certain people have certain intentions and certain experiences and certain uh, will and desire and hopes and dreams and in intentions. Intentions is a big one. Intention. What you intend may not always be the thing that you bring about. Anyway, I'm sort of babbling with no rhyme or reason. Uh, I go to this medical program every day to get medicine that I wish I'd never started. And every year, they want to give me a tuberculosis test. And every year they inject me, well, for the last several years I've managed to bring in paperwork saying that I've already had it done, but this year I couldn't. And sure enough, they stick that crap in me. I'm already sick and throwing up and fever, headache, weak. And, and, you know, I spend the next three days puking and fucking dying, man. My body is that toxic. Is that sick. Is that broken down. And... Thank you very much. God bless you. I've started this ivermectin that a wonderful, kind soul has sent to us. And I started on a very low half, half a dose, a quarter of a dose, 
for my body weight every couple of days to see what happens. I haven't really noticed anything except being really sick, so uh, we'll see. You know, it's been several days since I've looked at my stuff under the microscope or whatever. But uh, thank you for your care and your kindness. There are too many people suffering on this planet, and it's just too much pain. It's just too much, and oh God, it really rips at my existence, you know, as I'm laying there moaning and puking and, uh, you know, tormented by demons telling me I'm going to go to hell and, and everything else, all I can think about besides my pain is every other person who's sick and broken and discarded and uncared about and left to die, you know, just all over the planet I see this and it's horrible. What am I going to do about it? I can't even make my own life any better. And maybe that's the point. Anyway, that's the time. Thanks for watching. God bless you all.